Hey guys, Spitfire here, and today I'll be bringing you some information about the Wine Bottle, a special single-use pickup melee weapon that can be found on new maps coming today for premium users with Apocalypse DLC for Battlefield 1. The footage itself is from CTE. You might think that the bottle is just a gimmick, however, there is more to it. Getting kills with Wine Bottle can actually net you some nice rewards. The biggest reward is the Broken Bottle. This 35 damage melee weapon is unlocked by getting 5 Wine Bottle kills, although it might not seem obvious at first, as the assignment says, display a reckless disregard for the finer things in life. Also, the first Wine Bottle kill will unlock Alcohol in the Trenches Codex. For more dedicated players, I have some good news, after some very serious research. I have confirmed that the wine bottle, as you can see, has a service store. Yep, that's a thing. Now, the most important thing is to know where the bottles are. On Passchendaele, there are seven you can find. The first five are in a bunker on B flag, three on green box, two on wooden boxes. The sixth bottle is lying on the floor in a destroyed bunker near the edge of combat area between D and D. The final bottle is on a table located about 80 meters to the east from E flag, three trench lines meet next to it. On some, you can find three bottles, on B, C and E. As you can see, B bottle is located at the back of ground level of the windmill. Bottle from C flag lies on the floor in northeastern corner of the house. Finally, the third bottle can be found next to the intact machinery on E flag. Caporetto gives players four bottles to find and use. First one of them can be found on the edge of the trench next to D flag, sometimes it's on top of it, sometimes on the bottom. Second bottle is on C flag. To find it, you need to search next to northern edge of the bridge. Final two bottles are both next to B flag. One of them is in front of the statue north of B, and there's also a living projector next to it. And another is lying next to a bench and gramophone, just past the south edge of the flag area. Once you get the bottle, you should know what to do and not do with it. First things first, wine bottle is a melee weapon that does 100 damage and disappears about half a second after you hit your enemy giving you just enough time to make one more quick swing after the hit. When you hold it, you still can use throwables such as grenades, ammo and meds. Put the gas mask on or swing, but not hold, your normal melee weapon without losing the bottle. However, if you use anything else from your inventory, pick up an elite kit or enter a vehicle, you permanently lose a bottle, as you can see here. If you got killed while holding the bottle, you still might recover it. Similar to normal kits, bottle falls to the ground after death and stays there for a while, so you can pick it up if you get revived. Maybe if you're lucky and you respawn right where you died, you might even recover it that way. But that's a low chance gamble. Now that you have your bottle and know what to do to not lose it by accident, Let's go over the basic strategies for successfully using it. First of all, use cover. You need to be extremely close to the enemy to get the kill, and running at someone through the open with the bottle will only mean that you'll die well before you get within range. Corners of trenches on Passchendaele and some, rocks on Caporetto and windmill on B flag of some are some of the best places for waiting for the enemy. Secondly, if you want to grab a wine bottle, equip smoke grenades. They can be used for three main things. Closing in on your enemy, covering your retreat when an enemy who spotted you is too far, and hiding while the enemies run up to you. In third case, rely on your ears. Footsteps will give your enemy away even if you can't see him. The final basic tip is to slide to cover final couple of meters between you and your enemy. 
while the ability to change direction mid-slide has been almost eliminated, it still will often throw your enemy's aim off by making a smaller, fast target. Now that we've got the basics down, let's dedicate a few sentences to the relationship between Wine Bottle and Elite Kids. In CTE, picking Wine Bottle up when you already had the kit resulted in you keeping perks of Elite Kit, such as armor or immunity to fire or gas, while using the bottle. Obviously, it made getting bottle kills a whole lot easier, so if you're really desperate, you can try this strategy out. You get your elite weapon back after using the bottle, so it's a win-win situation for you. On the other side of the barricade, Wine Bottle also is a stellar weapon for killing elites if you have the ability to get close and the guts to take on such enemy. Thanks to being able to get two rapid swings on one target, killing enemy elites becomes a real possibility even with their armor getting in the way. However, be careful. As you can see, there has been a case of wine ball bouncing off the armor of SMG sentry, so consider that before deciding to charge at an enemy elite soldier. So, this is it for the wine bottle. Despite being just a single-use pickup melee weapon, there is quite a bit of depth to it, so you might want to be prepared if you want to go for it to unlock that broken bottle. Hopefully, this guide will help you a bit. Good luck and good hunting.